Hey, ha! Do what I do, boys. The plan. We act totally exhausted. Ooh. They put us in the infirmary. Getting out of there is a piece of cake. Action! They're simply exhausted. We should send them to a fitness penitentiary spa. Mm hmm. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. All we have to do to get out is cross that muddy river. Hello, I'm Mina, the director. Oh, is the little doggy staying here too? Careful, this woman is hostile. So watch out. This is going to be too easy. For relaxation sessions, you'll be in the hands of Miss Ingebert. Uh... <laughs> oh. You have come here to relax, and you will live very relaxed, okay? You a mad scientist is experimenting on the dolchins. Oh. And there we are. Yeah. Aha! So you try to resist? I like the difficult ones. Everything okay? <laughs> ah! We're getting out of here now! Hmm? Ah! <laughs> So, do you think it's deep? <laughs> hmm, I feel peculiar tension in my back. Ha ha ha! I told you it would be a piece of cake! Oh. Oh. That escape attempt was understandable given your tension, but you've come here to forget all that, hmm? Yeah, the mad scientist changed me into a turtle! Save yourself! Now just relax, Ingebrut. No! No! <laughs> that feels good, doesn't it? Save! A turtle can survive it on a shell! New plan! We use the jet water to escape. It's so powerful, it'll shoot us out! Hmm. Maybe we should try it out on Rent and Dumb first. <laughs> But now it's time for the hammam. Oh. After hammam, I give you a relaxing massage. No! <laughs> I can't take this. Inga Brute has to go. I have these terrible urge to scratch my back. That's it! Jack has fallen in the mud! Over there! Concentrate on him. Unless maybe I'm a snail. You're a seal. Yeah, I've been 
been turned into a dog. This relaxing oil works every time. <laughs> not on me. You lose. I'm not even limp. <laughs> <laughs> that is my first failure. <laughs> now, now. Four out of five. That's not bad. We need to hurry up and make a new plan soon. Oh, unbelievable. She lost a belt with a drawbridge key in the fight. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> it worked. <laughs> How do you reckon he'll react about them finding us all asleep? Bad. Better let him sleep then. Oh, oh we are free! Oh. Oh. That's hardening. He's back to normal. Actually, it's not bad being a dog. A oh, welcome change. This way. Your big secret? A hidden laboratory? <laughs> I'm making dynamite to blow this place to bits. Goodbye, prison. Hello, freedom. <laughs> Can I help, Joe? No. No? An underground hospital. That doctor must be doing top secret research for the government. I don't want to be a guinea pig. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Useless. Wow. <laughs> ah. Mmm, tasty. Sun's coming up fast. Get it back to our cell. Open up, you. Hmm? Joe, to make nitroglycerin, you need an acid base for a complex molecule that gives you a delayed action sulfide. It's actually really quite easy as far as chemistry goes. Well, now, you're up early at the break of dawn. That's redundant. Break of dawn is early. <gasps> you see, if you hit the first stone, vibrations reach the one beside it, and on to the next one, and so on. So bizarre. Avro, intelligent, how can this be? He's such a ninny. Smarts don't just happen all of a sudden. I'm going to call my uncle, Professor Aubert, a brain specialist. He can help us out. Here's the plan. I'm going to make them think that I found an anti-stupidity vaccine. They'll want it, but I'll ask for our freedom in exchange. But you don't have the vaccine. Well, yeah, but they don't know that. Mr. Peabody, let me introduce you to my uncle, the famous Professor Ober. Hmm, child. So, the genius. No, another doctor. Must be serious. This machine, which I invented, is the Intelligator. It measures a person's IQ on a 1 to 200 basis. So what is your top score? 167. That's mine, of course. So, what's 345,678 times 12.4? 4,286,407.2. Oh! That's phenomenal. His IQ outscores 200. That's thanks to Delta X, my very own anti stupidity vaccine. An anti stupidity vaccine? How wonderful! Uh, everyone would want to buy it. Here's my offer I give you the formula, and you let us go free. Hmm. 
I'll need authorization from Washington. With this vaccine, my name will go down in history. <laughs> <laughs> Washington agreed. Give me the formula and you'll be free. Behind that false, well-intentioned smile, I detect a certain edge of deceit, as if you intend to keep the vaccine for yourself and oust Joe. If this were true, Peabody himself would have made this announcement and not you. Oh, he's too smart. <laughs> It's the formula! Oh, but of course, he memorized it. I have to make him talk, but not here. The Daltons! They're all gone! <laughs> so, did our expert in stupidity have a good night's sleep? The scientist who's getting all the glory is me, not you, you miserable little man. <laughs> Give me the formula for the vaccine. You can forget about it, Opa. I'm not talking. Yeah, no fair. It's Joe's formula. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you so. Uh, take a big potato, peel it, Boil it up and... Do you take me for a fool? That's a recipe for stew! Mr. Ober, is it not unwise to eliminate stupidity? Is stupidity an illness? Who's stupid and who isn't? He's too smart. And I mean really smart. <laughs> Professor Ober, hand over the Daltons! Stop this madness! Betty, but how? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> This was one of his premonitions. You remember the route you took to the exit? I just remember that I ended up drawing the map on Joe's back. Oh, Joe, back? On your back? Huh? <laughs> well, let's check Joe. Turn around. Mm -hmm. Avril, couldn't you just use a piece of paper? Well, we've got to make do with this. Time to head to the tunnels and then freedom! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Joe Dalton, it's annual shower day. If you take a shower, the map will wash off. I'm sorry, but I am allergic to water, and anyway, Avril ate all of the soap we had, right? I have a solution. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> Shower, no fussing. 
Miss Betty is right. In the present environment, physical hygienism is the first step to social reintegration. So, into the shower! Never! <laughs> Bring him back. Peabody would never think of looking for us in his own office, huh? Hey, look! A camera! We could take a picture of Joe's back. That way, we'll still have the map, even if you shower. What? Never! You hear? Make an effort, Joe. Smile! <laughs> Not bad as far as contrast go. Maybe a little overexposed. I won't do it again! Time for your shower has come, Joe Dalton. I know that you're in there. Pure logicism, Pete, the door. Huh? Where has he gone now? Hmm. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Help me! Hey, what is this thing? It's an escape plan drawn on Joe's bag. <laughs> <laughs> escape plan! <laughs> That's odd. I didn't know that cacti had leaves on them. They're like a face drawn on it. With a dimple on their chin. They're so ugly. Right into the garbage. Back to square one. Yoo-hoo! Mm -hmm. Joe Dalton! Shower talk! Hmm? I've got the answer. So, is Chinese ink waterproof? This ink is absolutely indelible. Whatever you decide to draw on it, it will remain on there till the end of time. But wait, then that means the plan stays on my back forever? Here they come! I've finished! Huh? No need to be so angry. I'm going to take that shower. Let's go. Go on, you. I never want to see you again, ugly. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's follow these directions. <laughs> <laughs> Alert! All the prisoners are getting out from underground! <laughs> Didn't you hear the alarm? All the prisoners are escaping! How did they do that? Those ninnies found a way to get out? Oh, the photo. Don't worry. It's our turn now. Time to go underground. <laughs> There's nobody left, boss. They all escaped. That's impossible. It's a real labyrinth. Without a map, it's guaranteed lostism. No chance of getting out alive. I have a feeling that someone's watching us. Does someone have a light so we can check the map? Yeah! Mm -hmm. What a charming smile. You can tell this guy is a good man straight away. All these prisoners got lost and died trying to escape. That's tough for them. They should have had a map. William, tell us which way to go. I don't understand anything. There are flowers everywhere on this map. Huh? Well, yeah, Joe, I drew flowers. Ma loves flowers. <laughs> this time, I'll demolish him! No, oh, no, that dimple on the chin again. <laughs> <laughs> All the other prisoners have escaped, but at least we've got the Dalton safe and sound. What a shame. Shall we No! Hey, Joe, your back's on the front page. That's my drawing on the front page. Ma will be so proud. Yeah, Ma loves flowers. Let me draw some flowers for you. No, Joe, please. All over your face! A oh, hot
Yes, I am taking care of this cold with acupuncture. Get to work. We need a plan. Huh? Get out of the way, old man. This is my office. Whoa! It's Santa Claus. He's going to give us presents. Move him. the prison naughty children get. Ugh. Master Wheelie Lee is venerable grandmaster of our ancestral celestial wax discipline. He's here because he trashed a saloon. Oh. Here's an idea. He teaches us his technique. We're invincible. We escape. <laughs> Brilliant, Brilliant Joe. Joe. A game of checkers, master? Hey, Grandpa, teach us a few celestial wax. You must bow down humbly to him and greet him as master. Because he's got eyebrows two feet long? <laughs> <laughs> master, we wish to learn celestial wax. Master. How much you pay? Uh, we, we have a humongous stash to share with you. Outside. <laughs> 50 50. <laughs> I lost those needles. <laughs> what dexterity is on pegs? No, what naughty kids! I'm a good kid. You are all hopeless because you do not make empty space in your heads. Make emptiness. Think of nothing. <laughs> two by two. I'm as good as get old. Chinny chin chin. And what? Yeah. Well done, little grasshopper. You understand? I give you the blue belt. He Whoa. is your master. You obey him. He who does not respect you gets whacked. <laughs> no way will I obey you, you big ninny. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, but I obey the master. You won't take advantage of the situation, huh? Mm. I'm goody, goody gumdrops. You guys, too? You just obey him without asking? Whatever. You or him, we never get ours, say. Back to work. Why can't I get it right, master, even though I'm the strongest and the smartest one? Because you are full of anger. Control your anger, and you will succeed, little insect. No one calls me little in. That was a trap. I am calm. No anger at all. Cool. Chinny chin chin. Whack! Uh, I am not angry. Whack! No, it does not matter. Whack! No, whack! That is all for today. Good, Good night, night, Master! master. Master, uh, I am calm. I'll strangle him. I am Zen. I am Zen. I am Zen. Uh, I want to be the boss. <laughs> I'm cured. I release the Chinaman in thanks. Huh? Master Wheelie, we left a message for you. Little grasshopper, know enough to do you know what? Where is this?
stash. That's right. Where is that stash? You know there isn't one, big grasshopper. Then I send you cheaters back to prison. <laughs> Admiral, since you're so strong, get rid of him. Little Golden Heart Grasshopper, you can come with me or stay with your brothers. But if you lose, you will forget what I taught you forever. Can you repeat that? Hey I'm pretty good. Sidney Clutch is on his way back. Oh, the present. I mean, this was not on my list.